Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode here. Um, it's gonna be a little different. It's about accessories. Uh, so those, these are my two bikes. The Rad Mini, which you see right here, Rad Mini. And then the Rad Rover over there with the, with the co-pilot, as you can see. Um, so here are some of the accessories that I've gotten from uh, Rad Power Bikes here. I got a third battery. Yes, a third battery. I'm eventually going to try to do uh, a 60 mile round trip and uh, you know battery anxiety or power anxiety is an issue for me. Um, worst case scenario I can always ride the bike without any power but uh, you know I, I do plan on doing longer trips being out all day riding around and so uh, I do want um, you know that extra power so I can I can have fun and I think yesterday I think it was yesterday yesterday was uh, the summer solstice which allows the most time 14 about 14 hours of daylight so if I'm gonna do this uh, I should probably do it around this time um, before the the uh, daylight hours um, get shorter and shorter um, anyways then it'll be a night run which will be totally different so spare battery all right I'll just go with what I have on here on top I'll go into the boxes later uh, I did get an extra ground seat as you can tell and uh, if you're wondering why I got that is because I got uh, I got this here this is the uh, was the Sun Sun Tour. Um, if you order from Rad Power Bikes, they're like 108. I found out that if you order this through Amazon, it's like 90. So you could probably save yourself some money. But I don't mind. You know, um, I, I do like Rad Power Bikes quite a bit. So uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming they vet these products before they sell them. So I'm going to be installing this and riding it around. Um, let's see what I got here. Um, I did get a second or third, this is actually a third charger for the battery. And this is one I'm going to actually carry with me in the backpack. And so if I do find an opportunity to charge the battery, uh, there's an outlet somewhere or I go somewhere, there's an outlet, which... You know, a lot of a lot of stores now, um, even restaurants, uh, whatever you know, you name it, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, uh, around here, Chick Fil A. Um, you know, just there's a lot of areas now they they offer outlets or they have outlets, and I'm sure if or even libraries, you go to a library, uh, you can charge your battery now. Are you going to be there for four hours? Maybe, maybe not. But I, I figure something is better than nothing. The ability to actually uh, charge your battery, even if it's for like, let's say an hour or half an hour, uh, should help in putting more, you know, power into here, giving you a longer, a longer uh, ride. And uh, so if you have uh, power anxiety or battery anxiety, um, which I, I kind of, I kind of do because I do want to, um, I do like using the pedal assist and the throttle. So uh, I've, I've, there's times where I have gone on, um, I've been on a bike ride and I forgot the battery completely, which I've ridden my bike. So it's not like you can't do it, you can. It's just not as fun as pedal assist so anyway so so that's that uh, let's uh, so that's what's all in here let's see what's in here and in, in here as you can see is the uh, rad rover rear rack so I got the rear rack and I'll show you what it looks like if you're wondering if you ever were wondering um, what it looks like but here it is and uh, it does come with screws. Uh, be careful. Uh, the way they had this, there were uh, there's a 
some of the screws fell through right here, so I don't know how they're, they could uh, do this a little bit better because if you see right here, the screws just popped out through this hole. If I can show you like that, see? You can put your finger through here and see how they, so just be careful when you open this. Uh, they should have done this a lot a lot better uh, but I did I was moving it around and I noticed something falling and it the bolt and a washer did fall through so so here is the uh, here's the rear rack and uh, let me just take it out I I, 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 I sent I ordered this when I went to uh, California and I've been in California for like two weeks when I came back, it, my wife told me it just came back the day before I came back to Texas. So it, it takes quite a by, quite a quite a bit of time. Um, amazingly, it took a quite a bit of time. But here's what it looks like, and I, I'm assuming this comes out here and attaches. So very rigid. Let's let's just see what it would look like. Of course, I'm not going to put it on today because I have. I have, uh, uh, let me see, it's not very good lighting out here right now. Uh, let's see if I come out this way. There you go, maybe a better, better lighting. So this is kind of what it would look like. I could just, there we go. So this looks like it's gonna be just below just below the uh, the we ride co-pilot I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to verify if I could put the rear rack on with the re ride co-pilot without it without this uh, interfering so I'm gonna have to uh, do that see how that works out okay all right, that just, I just want an idea how how big it would be, and and it, and it looks like to me that uh, it would fit right under here, which is good because I was a little worried about that. Uh, I did order the paneer bags, but apparently they are out of stock on the paneer bags, so um, and uh, just gonna have to wait. I did want to order the paneer bags from Rad Rover because apparently if I'm hoping that it fits perfectly with this and I won't have an issue or any problems. So, there we go. So if you want to know what it looks like, here's what it looks like. It's very, it's, it feels very big but very light. It's obviously aluminum. So, um, there you go and you got the holes for the, for the, uh, the basket. Uh, they did not, they did not have they did not have the uh, um, the front uh, rack available when I ordered this, so um, I'm gonna have to wait for the front rack. Uh, by the way, by the time you see this, they've they've been out. They went out of stock in three days on the on the rear rack. So I'll do an install on this eventually. I'm just showing you the accessories I got. So that's that, I guess. Okay. All right. And let's see what's in the other box now. Move all this in here. I'll eventually do a video on, well, at least on on this and the seat I'll put together. The charger is a no-brainer. The battery is a no-brainer. Uh, okay. So this is the, uh, as you can see here. This is a rad rack large basket, and I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, again, they could do a better job with uh, the way they they put this together, like tape it over and then staple it, not like this because the edges, again, as you can see, I can put my finger through here and the pieces can slide out. See, pieces can slide out, see. 
Uh, so here's the, the basket and what it looks like. So here's the basket and what it looks like here. Let me see if I can... Uh, I don't have my... I didn't put on my, my body armor. I'm actually washing the body armor right now, so uh, don't have it on. I've had it on for quite some time, but anyways, uh, so this is just on my chest. If it's a little floppy or something like that, it's just uh, just on my chest bare. So here's where they connected it. They could have done a little bit better on this connection, I think, or maybe it's just my imagination. I only welded it right here on the bottom. I don't know if you see that. Anyways, they got they got holes on the bottom. I guess if you get water in them, they got holes like all over the bottom here. If you can see that. If you can see that. And I'm assuming that's because uh, water does get into it, it drains out. You can see the, the holes here and here, two here, two here, depending on how you have it set up. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me see. Important thing for me is, does the battery fit inside? And, well, yes, it does. Here's a box that, okay. All right, a reference on the size. Here's my hand. Anyways, you get the measurements off the website. It's not a, so there you go. So that's what's important for me is, can it fit a battery? And looks like the answer is yes, it can fit a battery. And so, um, that's one way for me to transport the batteries now without putting in the backpack. So that should lighten my load. I just, I could probably just wrap this in a towel and, or whatever, just do something and put it in, oops, excuse me. Just go ahead and put something into it and, uh, there you go. All right, so that's what, that's what's all in here. Uh, I guess what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me see, where, which one am I gonna do first? Uh, I didn't get two, I only got one rear rack. Um, this one already is, now here's the thing about the, the Rad Mini here. Remember my little, my little uh, basket here? Well, it's already uh, broken right here. And in here, and what happened is I left it in the. Uh, I essentially, and and if you can tell here, it's it's broken here. I left this in the car folded, and it. Uh, I guess the heat was too much. I already saw this bending, and when I came back, this was already broken. These are broken. These, you know, it's plastic. So what do you what do you expect? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on. At least for this, I'm gonna put the large basket. I'm, I'm probably gonna do a uh, video on it. The large basket onto the um, onto this here, and so uh, that's that. Um, I'll probably do. I will probably put the rear rack onto the Rad Rover. And uh, what's nice is since this basket is compatible, and as soon as the stock becomes available, I probably will order another one. I just want to order one to test it out. Hmm. I hear rattling. They should have put another weld. Oh. That's just me. They should have put a weld on this. I hear rattling here. There's a weld right here. You can see where they... Let me move the battery. Let me move this battery out of the way. 
you can see where they just butt jointed. It looks like it's just a butt joint here. This, this, this doesn't make any noise here, see? Pretty solid, but when you come up to here, but it looks like it's not butt jointed. It looks like it's it's been tapered, slightly tapered to go in here, but you can hear it rattling. Can you hear that? So, I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but that's just something to notice. It probably is not an issue. Um, but other than that, I mean, the wells look pretty good. I, I Looks like it's, I don't know, I think they could have put a little bit better welding on there. Anyways, anyways, whatever, whatever. I, I'm sure it works really good. Um, my point is the basket itself, I could put on the Rad Mini and the Rad Rover. So that's why I got one. If I think I, if I like it enough, I'll probably get another one. And again, I'm waiting for the front rack system. The front rack. So I could put maybe a front rack here, then maybe I could put, uh, uh, depends how many baskets I want to order. Really what I wanted to do was um, use the basket, the large basket, to put in the front of the red rover here. Um, so I can actually uh, do something because the, the rear rack is going to be preoccupied with this. But uh, when I go out by myself, I can take the rear rack off. Actually, I'm going to take the whole seat off, and I'm planning to um, put the put this seat post on. So, um, I'll wait for a lot of videos. You'll be seeing it here. I'll show it to you right now what the what it looks like, and that's it right there. That's it. And then this is where you mount. Uh, you can see it. You see right there plus the plus and the minus so you can see that so you can adjust the tension here so I'll be making videos here shortly um, so these are the some of the accessories not all of them obviously um, so anyways I'll cut out from here uh, look for future videos of all these accessories that I am going to be installing here so that's it bye